Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you see here, I have my January 2020 Sephora play box that I have no idea what's in here. I haven't looked at spoilers. As you can tell, I haven't uploaded any spoiler videos in a long time. So there hasn't been any of that. So I have no freaking clue what's in here. This is the little thing and inside it says what you got. I'm not gonna look at that. I just glanced real quick and it's a blue bag. The first item I have here is the Briagio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I believe I have a spray that's the same exact thing by the same exact brand. That's odd, which I wasn't too fond of if it is the same thing. Uh, this is a cute little glass jar. This is the Wasa by She C. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'll write it down here somewhere. Clear Mega Hydrating Cream. It looks expensive. Watch. I bet you when I look this up, it's going to be expensive. Usually, the little, little tiny samples that have glass. Yeah, they're usually really expensive uh, products. So, anyways, moving on. Oh my God, not another one of these. Seriously, I want to throw this out the window. I cannot tell you how many of these I've gotten from either Sephora, Ipsy, recently, um, Sephora Play, like, stop giving me these, oh my gosh, uh, it's the Lancome, I should know by now, right, it's the Lancome Super Enhancing Mascara Base, <laughs> I've had enough of those, seriously, I probably have enough to use for the next 10 years of my life, anyways, moving on, Ooh, I got a bunch of Glam Glow. This is Glam Glow, by the way. I got a bunch of Glam Glow stuff for Christmas from my fiance. I love Glam Glow skincare. It's expensive for a reason. Like, I love their skincare. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It's kind of funny. This stuff looks like it has leaves and twigs inside of it. It's, like, too freaking funny. Like, you'll actually see leaves and twigs on your face. The feeling you get, though, after using it is your face seriously feels baby soft. It's so worth it. Okay, the next item I have here, I can feel it, is the... Oh, wow, I've never tried this, but everybody rant and raves about it. It's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner uh, Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I've never, ever used it, and people, like flip the H out. So yeah, I'm excited to try it. I heard that she's giving her business away to somebody else, like she's selling it or she's changing the name and selling it, I think. Like, it's crazy. Anyways, I just read that today, actually. The next is our perfume sample, which is Amazing Grace Fragrance. I'm not sure if, I think this one looks familiar. Please don't smell like old lady. Honestly, please, please, please don't smell like old lady. I love having new perfumes and like smelling expensive. This one isn't too bad. Honestly, it's not, I would expect the way the packaging looks. I guess don't judge a book by its cover, but doesn't it look like it would be totally old lady smelling? It doesn't say anything. Maybe in here, you know how like they'll describe the notes and stuff and of it. Let's see what it says in this little pamphlet. If you care, if you don't, like you can go ahead and click out of this video. What does it say? Okay, it says the bonus, the little par perfume samples are always the bonus item. It says, pamper yourself with this soft floral scent. Wow, usually I don't like florals because, yeah, they smell like old people. Bless their hearts. <laughs> um, soft floral scent. It is very soft. Maybe that's why. That spoils your senses with notes of bergamot, lily of the valley, and mugi. Muje blossoms. I just butchered all of it, so might as well not have even read it to you guys. Uh, floral. The base of it's musk, so I do like musky scents. So, anyways, for this month, like, oh, I'm so pissed off that I got another one of those Lancome things. The Kat Von D eyeliner, I'm excited about. The Glam Glow, I'm completely thrilled. The Wasso little jar that looked expensive. I'm excited to try that. The Briagio Don't Despair Repair, I know I have it in a pump and I did not like it. The Amazing Grace smelled really good. So it was a pretty good box, honestly. Like I would give it like a B plus. Anyways, you guys, I hope you liked my January 2020 Sephora Play Box and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.